Hello students today we will learn the lesson the enormous potato enormous means big at first we will read the lesson and then solve the answers take out your books and get ready in her lovely little garden granny grows many vegetables potato is her favorite vegetable so she grows a lot of potatoes in her kitchen garden students do you have a kitchen garden at home yes many of us have what do we grow there we grow there potatoes chili carrot and many other vegetables one day granny is surprised to see that one potato plant is bigger than the rest the potato plant is even taller than granny. I shall pull this potato out and make potato fries for everyone. Granny tries to pull the potato out. She pulls and pulls but the potato does not come out. Here we have granny with her cat who later helped in pulling out the potato plant. Granny calls grandpa out. Grandpa catches Granny and together they pull, but still they fail to pull the potato out. Granny now calls her son Mohit to help them. Mohit holds Grandpa, Grandpa holds Granny and Granny holds the potato plant. Together they pull and pull, but cannot pull the potato out. Then Mohit calls his wife Rekha. She was washing clothes. She leaves the clothes. Rekha pulls Mohit. Mohit pulls Grandpa. Grandpa pulls Granny and Granny pulls the potato. They pull and pull but the potato does not come out. Whom do they call now? They call their pet cat. They try for one last time. Granny pulls the potato top. Grandpa pulls Granny, Mohit pulls Grandpa, Rekha pulls Mohit and the cat pulls Rekha. They pull and pull and out comes the potato. Hooray! We have pulled it out. Then they carry the potato home. Granny makes lots and lots of potato fries. They all share the delicious fries. They enjoy the fries. We have finished reading the chapter. Now let us answer the questions. At first we have fill in the blanks choosing from the words given in the brackets. Here we are given some words. From there we have to choose the correct answer. 1. Granny has a lovely kitchen garden. 2. Granny grows a lot of potatoes. 3. The potato plant was tall. 4. At last they called their pet cat to help them. Next, answer the following questions. Number 1. What did Granny grow in her kitchen garden? Granny grew many vegetables in her kitchen garden. 2. Name Granny's favorite vegetable. Potato is Granny's favorite vegetable. 3. What did Granny want to make with the potato? Granny wanted to make potato fries with the potato. 4. Write the names of the people who helped Granny in pulling out the potato. The people who helped Granny in pulling the potato out are Grandpa, Mohit and Rekha. Next we have find the names of 6 vegetables in the following grid. Look at your textbook. There you will find a grid. And from there you have to find out the names of six vegetables. You are given some pictures in the book. From there you can figure out the names of the vegetables. Carrot, brinjal, radish, onion, cabbage, spinach. Circle the correct spelling of the words in each row. Here you are given some misspelled words along with a correct one from there you have to find out the correct one and circle it number one the correct one is 
P O T A T O potato. Number two, the correct one is kitchen. K I T C H E N. Three, garden. G A R D E N. Four, vegetable. V E G E T A B L E. Right person, place, animal or thing for the following words. Number one, book. Book is a thing. Two, lion. Lion is an animal. Three, boy. Boy is a person. Four, hotel. Hotel is a place. Underline the proper nouns in the following sentences. At first, let us learn what is a proper noun. A proper noun is a name given to a person, place, animal or things. For example, Shrishti, Vijay, Kamal, Aman, these are proper nouns. In the given sentences, I have underlined the proper nouns. I will read out the lines for you. 1. Aman is a good boy. Aman is the name of a boy. 2. The Red Fort is in Delhi. Here, Red Fort and Delhi are proper nouns. Red Fort is the name of a palace and Delhi is the name of place. Rani is a little girl. Rani is the name of a girl. 4. Newton was a great scientist. Newton is the name of a person. So it is a proper noun. With this we come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us.